All right guys, so welcome back. And I got a new product I've been playing around with now for the last couple of weeks because the store now can mix the paint in the aerosol cans that I deal with on a regular basis. So I've been having them mix me up some of the colors that I use all the time. And it really comes in handy on these cut-ins because I like to paint all my stuff apart. And that way when I put this core support in this car, I'll only have to dust in the weld areas and you guys know we use resistance welders so it's minimal once this thing is cut in i won't have to do much and then you can use these base coat uh, in the cans these are the factory color they mix and put them in and hit your spots to where they weld it up so i'm shooting this with another job in here right now that way i kill two birds with one stone with my sealer and the clear when i dust it to make sure that it's good so we're gonna shoot this one. We gotta make this thing like a beige green and then dust it with the red to make it look factory. And like I say, these are really coming in handy now, these spray cans, because they're solvent, they dry quick. You can get in the areas that you can't get into as good with the spray gun, even the smaller gun. I'm liking the way these work well. So I'm gonna hit this thing today with this spray bomb. And uh, these are really good too for you guys at home that don't have compressors. You guys can have the paint store mix up your factory color and even do the variants that match your car and then use their 2K product for a clear coat. They have a 2K clear and there's a lot of videos on this 2K clear, it works well. I'm just uh, not, I'm not using this here today but I wanted to show you guys this in case you wanna do something at home and not have compressor but you wanna get a factory color that matches because those colors that you get from like AutoZone and Discount and all that, those colors don't match very good at all. But these are actually mixed off the variant decks that we use here at the body shop. So you'll have a professional color match, but you'll be able to shoot it out of the can. And that would work well for you guys at the house, fixing up little small areas on your car and wanting to do something. Definitely a good idea. Check with your local paint store to see if they have the capabilities of mixing this stuff up but I'm using it for the small cut-ins, getting into areas that I need to get in quick or maybe a bracket, but works well. Let's shoot this one here and I'll show you what I do with it. All right, so we got that all sealed up and I used a medium gray on that because that'll work best for this uh, green e-coat that I'm gonna put down next. And then we're gonna go right into that can of that mixed up 138X color that was mixed uh, from the paint store. So let's go ahead and put on the can. I already got that other stuff based out over here because I'm doing this. I would never do this by itself, but I'm painting this stuff here and I knew it fit in here nice with it. That way I'm not wasting a boost cycle just for this piece here. So I like to do my stuff in here. That way this thing comes out clean and you don't have a lot of dirt. So. I do my cut in as much as I can in the booth, but if you have to, you gotta do it outside and I know that. So let's go ahead and put some of this E-Coat green on and then we'll dust it so it looks factory because you guys see here how it has that greeny look on that bracket. We're gonna go for that same look on this and then once we get it welded in, we'll do all the green work and get it all nice and I'll show it to you finished up in another video, but let's go ahead and put this green on. So now we'll go ahead and put our color on with our spray can. And I'm not gonna use that 2K clear in the can because I'm clearing those parts over there and I'll save that for another video. We'll try some of that stuff out too. But we're gonna hit it with this base can and this is a solvent. And then we'll go ahead and dust it and I'm gonna show you a little trick I do to get a satin look with regular clear. So I went ahead and put two coats on and I still left some of my green on the edges. That way it looks factory because you guys know I like to do stuff that looks factory. And I'm going to go ahead and do one little trick that I like to do now 
to give it a real factory look. And that's to go back in now with the green, the E-coat, after you put the red on and just fog it in certain spots that you know it needs to go to blend in nice. And it really gives it a really factory look when you do this here over the top of the red and you'll get a really nice look that looks factory so this is how i end up doing it and you can always come back in if you have to with a little bit of the red and uh, gloss back over this but i've had the best luck of using the red use the green the red or whatever color you're using put it where you want it so it looks factory and then come back in and dust it with the green or, or the gray or whatever color you need for it. So I'll show you here in a minute how it'll look. But this is the best way that I've had with making it look like it's not been put in. So these are the little things that'll separate you when this goes together and then you retouch it up in spots. It'll have a real factory look to it. And that's what I'm going for. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna come in with just a little bit more red, just so it looks factory. And I'll show you what I do now. Now you can just hit it one more time. And now you guys can see how it looks. It's got that factory look as if it was in the car with the fogging over the top of it and blended in nice. That way it looks factory. So I don't saturate this fully with red. I want it to look like it hasn't been done. So that's how I do it. And now when I get this welded in, It'll blend in nice. I'll do a little touch up with my can because I can get in there nice and easy with the can and uh, it'll come out beautiful. So those cans are definitely coming in handy and they actually cover good. This thing went on quick and it went right over that color and covered well. So I've been using them and I like them a lot now that that store can mix up the colors and get you a variety of colors. Get you some white, black, some reds, blues and have them that way you can use them when you need them when you're in a pinch, it definitely works great. And like this one here, this is the actual color of the car. This just doesn't mean something from Duplicolor. It's gonna be the factory color and you can even get variants mixed. So we're gonna clear this and I'm gonna show you my little trick that I do for this to give it a little bit of uh, protection. That way I know it's solvent proof. So let's do that. All right guys, so we went ahead and put a medium coat of clear on this and you guys can see it's shiny. When we cleared those parts over there, we put one coat on this. Now you let this set up a little bit and I'm gonna dust this now over this even though it's shiny and we'll get a nice matte finish from it. That way it's treated and it's got something on it protection in case somebody uses a chemical on this to clean it later. When they're working on this, you guys know how mechanics like to grab gas and wipe things down. So I'm gonna show you now as I dust it and then I'll bring it back and show you how it's got a nicer satin finish because you guys see there it's shiny. So let that first coat tack up and then come back and dust it and that'll give you a nice satin under hood finish without having to use, when you're using the water base, the engine bay. So I use that technique a lot when I'm doing under the hoods. I missed it and it just gives just enough to 
satin it, but protection it from any kind of harsh chemicals. So let's go ahead and dust it and then I'll show it to you finished up. All right, guys, so I definitely recommend these cans if you guys can get your hands on them from the uh, paint store with the OEM colors. And like I said, they actually match because they're based off of the chip deck. They're mixing these right off of the toners off the uh, standard mixing bank. So I'm actually gonna try something out and do a job with one of these cans, blend it out and then clear it like we would do a regular job and see how that comes out and uh, try that out pretty soon here. So. This has got me interested in seeing if I can get a nice even blend and get a job to come out factory looking with a can and match. So we'll do a spray out card. We'll check it in the next couple of videos up when I get a minute. But look at this thing all finished up. It's got the satin look now. It's treated and it looks factory. So definitely recommend these. They're great now. Once we put this in, I'll hit these little spots and hopefully the body man don't go crazy and scratch it. And it'll just be a quick little can and uh, a nice easy way of doing something and save time. So I hope you guys uh, got something out of this. Check these out if you want to and we'll see you next time.